I think if there is one mental model that as leaders it's probably more important than anything else to be aware of in the current business climate, it's this. And that is the difference between the types of challenges that we're facing. Think of maybe the first question you thought of a few moments ago and run it down against the tests there. Does it have a single right answer? Could an expert give you the, 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 the solution? Could you just do that but everything else will stay the same? Well, it's just a problem that we'll fix and then we'll just keep going again and so on. Sounds a bit like my morning when we're trying to get an air conditioner fixed at home. Um, yes, unfortunately in that case we've got about five technical solutions, none of which seem to be anything other than replace it. But think about for a moment, most of us have been trained in problem solving techniques that address exactly these types of challenges. But let's have a look at the alternative type of challenge. Can I ask you a question, particularly those of you in Adelaide? The questions that are coming to mind to you, are they more on the left hand side or are they more these things on the right? The ones that, well there's no trade off, there's no straight solution here, there are trade offs. We don't actually know because as soon as we start moving something will be happening and we'll learn something and then we'll, we'll zigzag. How do I create that classroom? How do I move that, that relationship with, a, with, a, with somebody in our firm? How do I get partners to co-create with other people? How do I encourage our young, yeah, etc. They are, they're adaptive questions, aren't they? They're adaptive challenges. Has anybody got any on the left hand side? No, not a single hand. And I suspect of the 140, 150 people we've got, you'd all recognise there are technical elements to this. But the challenges that we're facing in our firms are adaptive. Make no mistake about it. And secondly, as we think about that, let's think about the implications. When you know you've got a technical problem in front of you, you go searching for expert knowledge or an expert. And that expert makes the decision and they implement it in accordance with what we just talked about. So the critical thing is, of course, to have expert knowledge. What do you recruit in a legal firm? Expert knowledge, of course, don't you? Yeah, they're everywhere. We have, there is no question that you've got plenty of expert knowledge. And you could argue that hierarchically the same thing applies. If I'm working in another organisation and I say, we make decisions based on traditional hierarchies, they'd say, yep, the leaders make the decisions. Really? Is that the best strategy to, and, and when you actually pick it back, you go, yes, it is probably the best strategy for them to close off the decision, but how do we actually go about making them? And herein lies, I think, the really interesting challenge. When you look at those adaptive challenges, they can only be addressed by working across traditional boundaries, be that up and down the firm, from partners through associates, professional staff, support staff, and so on. And they can only, be, they can only really work if we can learn together. Now let's cast back to that first slide, second slide that I popped up and said the culture in many professional service firms does not make success inevitable. I would put it in this context and say the culture in the vast majority of, that I see at professional services firms is terrible at dealing with adaptive challenges. It's really good at dealing with technical and what unfortunately happens is it does and the experts um, who've written about all this stuff would say what you end up with is the fundamental mistake that you can make as a leader. You treat your adaptive challenges as if they're technical. And if somebody has ever driven you nuts while you're trying to have a conversation about how to implement technology and they're on one side of the wall explaining what the technology is and you're on the other side trying to explain how you actually want to use it, we're having exactly this conversation right, just a few moments ago, that's a classic example of a technical and adaptive mindset. So herein I think lies the great challenge. How do you create an environment in which the firms can actually deal with the adaptive challenges? Because it is not working when they are dealt with in hierarchies, just by partners, just by technical areas and so on.